Today, I'm ranking all 46 items throughout the entire Mario Kart series. To do so, I ranked every item based on three factors. How fun it is, how powerful it is, and how happy I'd be to pull it from an item box. Without any more dilly-dallying, let's get straight to it. Coming in dead last is the blooper. Instead of being distracting, it's just annoying. I've never heard one person say, yes, I got a blooper. It's barely useful, uninteresting, and flat out useless. Last place where it belongs. Next is the coin, and while it might be the most boring item on this list, at least it's a little useful compared to the blooper. The feather was a tricky one to rank because it's extremely useful in Super Mario Kart to take shortcuts, but with the change to 3D in Mario Kart 64, it basically became obsolete. Its addition in 8 Deluxe's battle mode doesn't really help it out, and all around, I think the feather is pretty meh in my opinion. With the other half of the 8 Deluxe duo, we've got the Boo item. It makes you invisible and steals an item from another player. It's not bad, but I'm just not excited when I get it. I just wait to see what other item it gives me. It's basically just a glorified item box. Surprisingly this high, we've got the Thundercloud. While it's one of the only items that's just straight out a curse and I sure as hell don't want to get it, I can't help but feel a little excited when I see it. It's a bit goofy, but it's also pretty damn creative. And solely just on that, I think it made it this far up the list. Now from here onward, I think every item is actually good, but of course there's some items better than others and at the bottom of the good items is the Super Bell from Mario Kart Tour. For how cool the Super Bell is in 3D World, I can't help but feel its incarnation in Tour is just a little bit disappointing. Next we've got the coin box, which just feels like the natural evolution of the coin item. Filling out your max speed with coins always feels good, and I think this item just makes sense to me. Now if we could just replace the coin in 8 Deluxe with the coin box, then we'd be onto something. The Super Leaf is one of those items that I could honestly give or take. It does its job, it's not bad, but it's not great. I'd much prefer having just like a banana or a green shell if I'm being honest. The fake item box might be just as useless as the blooper if I'm being completely honest, but it's got so much potential. All they need to do is make its texture the exact same as normal boxes and it would be perfect. It's such a fun concept and I would love to see it return in future games. The bomb bomb is a pretty good item, but it's got some major flaws keeping it from being great. For one, throwing it forward offensively is almost always certainly a mistake. Exploding from your own bomb is the worst, so it's really only useful throwing backwards defensively. But unlike other defensive items like the banana and green shell, you can't hold on to it behind you. Well, I guess you can, but trust me, it's a big mistake. The classic banana. Like I said before, it's perfect for defense. Out on the track, it's not too great, but on the back of your car, it can be the make or break difference between first and second place. A true staple of the series. Two loaded barrels of bananas shot on the track. What's not to love here? They might not be as useful as the classic banana, but damn, these are fun. Basically what I said before about bob bombs, except this time there's two. Sick. Basically what I said before about bob bombs, except this time it's big. Sick. The Dash Ring. This Mario Kart Tour item shoots three speed boosted rings on the track, and anything that gets you up to first quicker, in my opinion, is always great. The first of the triple items is the Triple Banana. Even more protection this time, and you can throw three bananas on the track. All around, a sick item. Next is another classic item, the Green Shell. The Green Shell is a bit basic, but I think that just makes it charming. It doesn't home in on the target, but instead bounces twice before breaking. But what really makes this item so satisfying are the snipes you can pull off of it. I'll tell you, nothing in this game makes me happier than sniping someone with a green shell. And because of that, it's number 30 on this list. Basically what I said before about bob bombs, except this time, there's a bunch of them coming out of a cannon. Sick. Another tour item, the capsule bounces towards enemies when thrown. Can't be used defensively though, but it's still a pretty neat concept. The giant banana from Mario Kart Double Dash can be thrown out on the track and will explode once hit into three smaller bananas. Super fun and unique item. Not super powerful, but it sure does shine. Next we have the Mega Mushroom. If I'm being completely honest, I think the Mega Mushroom is pretty mid. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty powerful. You can go off-road and squish your fellow racers, but all in all, who asked? <laughs> the Mega Mushroom more like the mid A Mushroom, am I right? Then a super neat item from Tor, we've got the Hammer item. It's a great callback to the Donkey Kong arcade game. 
or maybe just Hammer Bros. I'm not quite sure. But it's pretty fun and useful, and one I could totally see them bringing to the next real installment of Mario Kart. The Fire Flower is the quintessential mid-tier item. It's not bad, it's actually quite good. It has an interactive element which I always like, and isn't something I'd be disappointed to pull. I think it totally fits here alongside its counterpart smack dab in the middle of this list. Speaking of counterparts, the Ice Flower is basically just the Fire Flower on steroids. Well, maybe not steroids, but it sure is a bit better. Freezing enemies and having them slide around is just so funny and extremely beneficial and interactive as hell. The Bowser shell, like the green shell, doesn't home in on a racer, but instead is huge and keeps going after hitting a racer. It's a pretty sick offensive item that's super powerful. The boomerang flower, unlike the Bowser shell, isn't super powerful, but instead is super damn fun. My favorite part about green shells, like I said, was sniping people. So here with the boomerang flower, we basically have a three-shot sniper that can also hit people when returning to your racer. Somehow, I always forget this item exists even though it's an 8 Deluxe. It has two main functions. Offensively, it charges forward, giving you a couple boosts, and defensively attacks other racers and items in your way. In my opinion, the Lucky 7 is the happy Honda days of items. It's great when you get 7 items for the price of 1, but you can't really control their use and it ends up being more of a gimmick than anything actually super useful. I'm not going to complain about getting it, but I'd much prefer getting a standalone red shell or something instead. At number 18, we have the Crazy 8, the bigger little brother of the Lucky 7. Similarly to the Lucky 7, it ends up being more of a gimmick than anything else, but still, it's pretty fun, and you get a coin this time along with the rest of the Lucky 7 items. My only question is, what would they call it in Mario Kart 9? Personally, I'm hoping for the Nifty 9. And for the person already typing out that Tor is Mario Kart 9, I know, j just shut up and have fun with the rest of the class. Like, what, what are you doing? Speaking of Tor, we've got the Bubble item, which acts kind of like a weaker bullet bill. It pulls the player forward quickly until either being popped or popping on its own after a certain amount of time. Pretty creative way of implementing the Bubble item from the main Mario franchise. The next triple item on this list is the Triple Green Shell. Three shells surround you for protection until being called upon to Mario Kart that poor soul in front of you. The POW block from Mario Kart Wii is honestly one of the most creative items in the series. Basically how it works is when it is thrown, any racers currently on that player's screen will be attacked. It's a shame it never made a return, but I guess it's a good thing because this on Baby Park would have been so broken. Next is the heart item from Double Dash. It serves as a shield that gives the player whatever item they were just attacked with. I think this is just amazing. Having a defensive item that also gives you an item once it breaks is sick and extremely creative. At number 13, we've got the Mushroom Cannon. It's a cannon that shoots mushrooms. Need I say more? Then we have the Chain Chomp from Double Dash. This is basically the prototype Bullet Bill, ripping its way up the middle of the race. The Chain Chomp is fun, extremely helpful when you're falling behind, and all around just a pretty good item. The Bullet Bill. The perfect item for your little brother who just can't figure out for the life of him how to drift or just, you know, play Mario Kart. The Bullet Bill, like the Chain Chomp, blasts you all the way from the back of the pack to get you back in the race. I've got nothing bad to say about it other than you have to be pretty bad to get it, so I guess that sucks. Now, just barely in the top 10, we've got the Spiny Shell. Now, don't get me wrong, the Spiny Shell, also known as the Blue Shell, might just be the most iconic item in the entire series. It's brutal, but sadistically ingenious and super fun. Ruining the tryhard of the group with the Blue Shell at the last second never fails to get people going. But bro, what does throwing a Blue Shell do for me when I'm in 10th place? I'd much rather have literally anything Hell, even a coin is more useful than a blue shell in that position. Next, we've got the Super Horn. You're saving grace when it comes to the dreaded blue shell. I gotta say, while sniping with a green shell might be the most satisfying thing to do in Mario Kart, blocking a blue shell with the Super Horn might be second. And even if you aren't in first, it still works pretty well at knocking out opponents when in higher places. Hope it becomes a mainstay in future games, if we ever get any of those. Now we're really getting to the nitty gritty. The Red Shell is one of the most versatile items in the game. Its homing attack is beautiful. It's also a great blocker for oncoming attacks. I will never, ever be upset when pulling the Red Shell. Then we've got the Yoshi slash Birdo Egg. This basically functions as a Red Shell, except when breaking, it'll drop three random items. Any item that gives you another item will always make me happy, unless it's the Boo, because that item sucks. Three Red Shells in one is just insane. Best projectile item, hands down. If you are making the person in front of you's life a living hell, 
then you're just doing it wrong with the triple red shells. Then we've got the lightning item, the more OP of the blanket effect items. Not gonna lie, I don't think it's the most fun item in the world to use, but being an item that will shrink every player on the track except you is something that I just can't overlook. Trust me, you're not gonna get it often, but when you do, you better make sure to make it count. Then here we are, the final four, and as you might have guessed, we have still yet to see an appearance from any of the mushrooms. So why not kick it off with the classic mushroom? This item gives your car a massive speed boost, which gives you the ability to pull off shortcuts through off-road sections and sections not even intended by developers. I for one will just never be able to pull off the gap jump, but it's the possibility of it that makes the mushroom so magical. There's a reason the developers give you three of these in time trials. The mushroom is the cornerstone item of Mario Kart. It's what separates playing, I don't know, Forza or one of those realistic racing games. The mushroom allows you to be creative and take your own path. Maybe that's a bit cheesy, and maybe that's a bit cheesy as well, but the mushroom is the creme de la creme of Mario Kart items. Then we've got the golden mushroom. Basically the normal mushroom, except even cooler as it goes longer as you spam the item button until it runs out. It's hard to use strategically because of the timer, but damn, it sure is fun. The triple mushroom, bro. <laughs> Triple mushrooms are freaking bonkers. Getting to pull off even more shortcuts on the tracks is my Mario Kart heaven. My only grievance, however, is that damn lightning bolt that comes and ruins all of my plans. Wait, did somebody say lightning bolt? Introducing the star. For a certain amount of time, your cart will become invincible, shielding you from lightning, shells, or whatever else gets in your way. Speaking of in your way, forget those track hazards, just drive right through them. Drive literally wherever you want and get a higher place. The star is the best item in the game. And if you disagree, cry about it. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, click this video right here, ranking all the Mario power-ups throughout the entire franchise.